Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. Today I've got a kind of special episode of Too Sweet. In all my past videos, I've always had the background that you can see behind me. And a lot of people have commented on it and they wanted to know what exactly that was. And I'm a big Doctor Who fan. And what this is, is actually a blanket. And it's the TARDIS... Uh, from the show and it's exploding in the background and if anybody's out there has watched Doctor Who in the past they've seen some of the episodes they know what it's about um, that was from one of the shows one of the episodes where the TARDIS had exploded and they made a painting on it and that was kind of cool and kind of appropriately um, <laughs> I don't know if, if you've really noticed it's on it's been on camera but you really haven't seen it. I usually wear Doctor Who shirts and this one is actually one that I got and what this is is it's another one from the um, show and it is the TARDIS in the air and it's a painting. It was an episode of um, uh, Doctor Who where Vincent Van Gogh had painted this and this is kind of this is kind of reminiscent of what that is on there and I thought that was just kind of cool to to wear for my videos and you know I'm always a big Doctor Who fan and appropriately if people have watched Doctor Who specifically the older Doctor Who the one back from the 70s and the 80s with the first couple doctors they had Specifically, it was the fourth Doctor from Doctor Who. And in that one, he was always having what they had a snack over in England. It's called Jelly Babies. And what it is, is it's sort of like, sort of like gummy bears. But it's a little bit different take on it. And surprisingly, that is what I am reviewing today. I got a hold of these. They are Jelly Babies. And these are Gustav's, Gustav's Jelly Babies. It says Gourmet English Style Sweet. And that's exactly what they are. And just for those that are curious, for uh, so five pieces, it is 136 calories. And what these are is they're just like they're jelly kind of candy. They're almost like liquid kind of gummy bears. They're not like chewy like gummy bears. They're kind of like a jelly. And they put them um, in cornstarch and they put them in the mold. And then the cornstarch sort of makes like a shell. And they're shaped like little babies, I guess. <laughs> Why you want to eat a baby, I don't know. But candy baby, I don't know. Someone came up with something really weird, and that was just something that's over there. And I thought I would give it a try for you guys out there. And appropriately enough, <laughs> I just thought of this. Recently, I have reached 400 subscribers, and with this being celebration sort of of my 400 subscribers, and this was the favorite candy of the fourth doctor. So, celebration of 400 and the fourth doctor, I'm gonna try Jelly Babies for you guys out there. And these I found in my supermarket. They were imported from England because that's where they re really have the Jelly Babies. You can get them, I've seen them on Amazon, you can get them Get them like it. They have candy websites, stuff that you can get things from. If you can, if you're lucky enough to find them in like a grocery store or maybe like Cost Plus or somewhere like that that has imported candies or items from England, maybe you can find them. Like I said, I was lucky enough to find these, and I'm gonna go ahead and give them a try. And the good thing about this is. If I can get it to open straight, 
this has a resealable little pouch. And these have a very unique flavor and aroma to them. And they have different flavors to them. They're like cherry and orange and lemon. And I think they even have a black currant in here. And each different Jelly Baby is a little bit different. And here's what a Jelly Baby looks like. They're kind of... <laughs> Uh, can't really make the features out there just kind of you know like a head and a body and then the feet and then <laughs> back is and it's all coated in this cornstarch and then they put them in the mold and then they break them out of the mold and they're very they've got like a sugar kind of shell to them and when you go ahead and try them so here we go I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can break one of them open just so you can see the middle, kind of like a liquidy center. And I think this one is cherry, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try for you guys out there. Um, it is a little bit chewy, liquidy, kind of, then that sugar shell on the outside is nice and sweet, and it kind of dissolves. What this really reminds me of is they have a candy out there called, I don't know if you guys remember the old Brock's candy that you'd get by the pound in the store. And they were like the, they were almost like gumdrops. They were orange slices and fruit slices and they had like sugar on the outside and they were kind of like a gel, like a gumdrop kind of thing. And that had the sugar on the outside. And then they also had another thing called chuckles, and they were little, they were little discs, and they were like kind of gummy, gummy, candy, and gel. And then they had like a little bit of sugar on the outside, and you'd eat, you'd bite into them, and they were like all soft and and jelly, like in the middle. That's what this kind of reminds me of. So, in the middle, they have the gummy, jelly part of it, and on the outside they got the little sugar shell. So it's actually pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and try that. And that is a cherry. So it's actually really good. Um, here's another one. It's the orange flavor. And again, these are, uh, if you like sweet, this is just plain sweet. It's a little bit of sugar on the outside. This, the flavor of the individual candy is not real heavy, so it doesn't like hit you over the head. Just a nice little snack. And I have to admit, every time I get these at the store, I end up eating a couple of them. And usually when I'm watching Doctor Who on TV, so kind of appropriate. So these are actually really good. It's kind of one of my favorite ones. I like the um, snacks from different countries, and this was actually kind of one of my favorites. It had a good flavor, so I actually kind of like it. So here we go. Try that one. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. They are a little bit chewy, um, and they've got all different colors and flavors in here. They've got red, yellow, green. Show you some of the other ones. Yellow one. I think this one is a black current one. Kind of purpley red. Um, orange and red, yellow. So they're all in green. So as you can see on the count on the cover. All the different flavors, so. Hmm. Now that I've tried it, I'm going to have to give this one a rating. And this one's kind of tough because personally, I'm partial to these, so I don't know if I can give it a fair rating because I would say 
this is an 11 out of 11, but it doesn't really blow me away. So I'm going to have to rate this one a 10 out of 11. Because the snacks themselves are it's basically just sugar. It's sugar and glucose syrup. It's, it's like a gummy bear. And although they're good and I like the whole tie-in to the Doctor Who and I like the, you know, the English, English part of it, they're, they're a good snack. They're nice and sweet, but they're not like, you know, spectacular out there. So I would give these a good 10 out of 11 so that's pretty good and I guess also since I had mentioned about reaching 400 subscribers I would like to thank everybody out there that has supported my channel and that has you know watched my videos or left a comment and uh, I really appreciate it out there and I'm just amazed at how quickly I've been growing and all all the people have been watching my videos and they seem to like them and it's a, I have a really fun time doing them for all you guys out there and it makes me feel good when I get the positive feedback to the, from the people out there and there is a lot of people out there that I'd like to thank there are quite a few of them out there um, perhaps in another video I'll do where I give shout outs to individual people, but this is just kind of, you know, just kind of an impromptu thing. And I just wanted to do, do a rating on this for everybody out there. Cause this is kind of one of the, one of the things I always wanted to do. And I guess it's kind of a, I've got a kind of list out there of things that I just want to try for you guys out there that I've liked in the past. And I thought would be fun to ch to try and let you guys see how how it is how the things that I like out there and you know kind of gave you a little bit of story about the uh, the background here and it also kind of lets you know a little bit more about me about what kind of things that I like and you know the strange <laughs> strange items I seem to try out there and I know I think you guys probably think well this guy is like crazy he's trying all the hot stuff he's trying all the weird flavored sodas he's trying all the <laughs> strange items out there and you know I always just thought well you know why not um, there's something out there that's a little bit different a little bit strange go ahead and give it a try maybe you like it maybe you won't and you know if you've watched any of my videos in the past you know that there are some winners there are some losers out there and you know it's all kind of the luck of the draw and 99% of the time that I try these things, it's the first time I'm trying them, so my reaction on the camera is what you guys see. It's not pl it's not planned out or whatever. Didn't have tried things ahead of time, so I figured I would try them on camera for you and let you guys see my real reaction of everything that's out there. So that's kind of little look into how I do things and I appreciate you guys all hanging around and watching my videos and you know checking them out and I'm always coming up with um, new ideas for videos and you know when I go out to the stores and I come across some unique items and different things to try I'll go ahead and get them and I'll show them to you guys out there and you know, <laughs> last couple times I've been on trips, I've uh, to the store, I've come across some really strange, wacky, unique items. And actually, I'm going to be having a couple of items coming up in the near future, so that I thought were a little bit strange. And you maybe think that this guy, you know, I don't know, <laughs> I would never try that, but I guess I'm the guinea pig and I'm going to go ahead and give it a try for you guys out there and let you know how it was and if you should try it or if you shouldn't try it you know I guess you kind of see how I react to it so um, that's my take on 
this one and you know just a little glimpse into what I'm what I'm uh, all about on my channel so if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell that way you won't miss any future videos and when I come up with some weird wacky thing to try you'll be able to catch it so until next time on Drew's Food Reviews I will talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.